9. HSV GTS RW1 production ends. Last Australian made car rolls off Holden Special Vehicles assembly line. Holden Special Vehicles has put the finishing touches on the last GTS RW1 the fastest, most powerful and the most expensive car ever built in Australia ending 30 years of locally modified Commodores. This is number 275 of 275 for Australia. Plus there were 20 W1S made for New Zealand and 3 customer ready final engineering cars, to bring the total production tally to 298. All W1S were sold before the car was even unveiled but a handful have popped up at auction after some buyers tried to turn a quick profit on the $170,000 sedan. While Ford shut its car factory in October 2016 and Toyota and Holden closed their manufacturing operations in October 2017. HSV's final assembly facility in Clayton southeast of Melbourne kept going until the end of 2017, using a stockpile of Commodores. For the past three decades HSV's assembly line put the finishing touches on its performance models such as suspension, brakes, wheels, exhausts, bodywork and engine upgrades after the donor car has been built on Holden's main production line in Elizabeth. South Australia after approximately 15,000 truckloads of more than 90,000 cars freighted from South Australia to Melbourne over 30 years, HSV's homegrown era has come to an end. Once this final batch of 150 vehicles at Clayton is distributed to Holden dealers, the company will move into new premises in the same postcode where it will begin building beefed up Holden Colorado use and convert Chevrolet Camaro muscle cars and Silverado pickups to ride and drive to General Motors factory standards. HSV was building its entire range except the Grange limousine all the way through the final weeks of production, GTSR and 30th anniversary club sport sedans, Maluyutes and club sport wagons as well as the W1. HSV kept building all models except the Grange limousine all the way to the end. Picture, Joshua Dowling. HSV kept building all models except the Grange limousine all the way to the end. Picture, Joshua Dowling source, supplied. HSV has kept the first and last W1 number 1 in 275 as museum pieces. There were 8 engineering prototypes built during development but they are due to be crushed dismantled or returned to regular GTSR sedans and refitted with their original LSA engines. Most of the final edition cars were specially ordered by enthusiast buyers but the company says there still are about 300 examples of the GTSR, Clubsport and Malou in showrooms about 4 cars in total per HSV dealer going into the first half of 2018. For all at HSV, this is a time for great reflection on what the company has been able to achieve to date, said Tim Jackson. HSV Managing Director Any success we've enjoyed has been directly attributable to our passionate staff, our dedicated dealer body and of course our loyal fans who have helped build this brand through its 30-year journey.